and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. My name is Roy and today I'll be reacting to the qualifiers from semi-final one in Slovenia. Yes, EMA kicked off last weekend and we know the six first finalists. Um, ten competed in the heat overall and I have listened to the first four already. Um, yeah, I overall kind of get why they didn't make it. I think uh, Le Serpentin, or however you pronounce it, we have Tut Stepselaksgodi. This language is difficult for me, okay? I'm trying my best. Uh, I thought that one was the, um, the most interesting out of the four that didn't quite make it. Um, but yeah, they weren't really winners, let's say it like that. Um, so, we will have six artists to direct to, and we will do so in alphabetical order. Meaning, we first have Batista Cadillac with Mim Pravil. Uh, then we have David Amaro with Sevedro Silepa. Then we have J. Jul <laughs> Julie Jones with Girls Can Do Anything. L for Luma with All In. I'm doing this on the spot. You can notice that, I know. <laughs> um, then we have Manush with Sisama. And finally, we'll finish with Stella Sofia um, with her song To In Zdai. Yes, um, I will do a disclaimer. Like, this video is probably uploaded a bit late. Um, my uni started again. So uh, I'll have days of me going to college or going to. Uh, the, the campus and then I'll be able to record it afterwards uh, so some of these videos might be a little late and mm, I'm not the biggest fan of it but hey, we gotta deal with it I guess um, life goes on <laughs> but that, just that you know it basically uh, yeah I've been rambling for way too long already because I, I do that way too often anyways uh, so let's get into the first video uh, or first song moreover uh, so yeah let's go there the first song that we react to is by the artist Batista Cadillac, and the song is called Mim Pravil. Um, yeah, I think we should just click play. Oh, I like his voice. It's um, it's got like some sort of echo to it, or like some some megaphone effect. But I'm pretty sure it's just his voice naturally, which is cool. Ah, the wonderful one-two step. Gotta love it. Whenever you're in a club, do a one-two step and you'll be good. Oh! The biggest highlight so far really is he is strong vocally. Like, I don't think he has missed anything yet. The instrumentals are a bit repetitive already. That's not a good sign. Luckily they bring it down right now. Yeah, I, I really get why this went through over the other four, like, his vocals are so solid, like, it's very pleasant to listen to, and this might not be a winner, or this probably wouldn't do insanely well at Eurovision either, I mean, I don't know, to be honest, like, it's, it's definitely different, but his vocals alone are really spot on, like, they're really good, but yeah, the instruments could have been a bit better, perhaps. I uh, thought that was really quite cool. Um, yeah, this is one of the songs that just has to go through to the final because he he was very strong vocally and it was very pleasant to listen to him and his singing, basically. Uh, Song-wise, I don't know, the instrumentals could have been a bit more interesting, a bit more diversified, perhaps, um, and maybe even a bit more modernized. It was, um, I don't know, it was fun, but I don't think this should be the pick for Slovenia. I, of course, I'm in the composition, so maybe it is the best song, but... I would assume not, because, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, it, it, it definitely deserved to go to the final. So, good job, Batista. Thank you. Song number two that we will react to is by the artist David Amaro. And the song title is She Vetno I hope I pronounced it correctly. Probably didn't. But hey, let's click play. There's quite a natural echo in the venue they're at. But you likely won't have that at your vision. Okay. Where do we go? 
Okay, we don't go anywhere yet. The echo is kind of distracting me, but like, that's not his fault. That's just... I mean, not really anyone's fault. It just happens, I guess, when the arena's kind of empty. I'm not sure if there was an audience. How did... I don't know. I think not. Oh! Okay. That actual guitar is lovely. It's a bit of a classically orchestrated ballad, really, but he, he delivers it quite well, I'd say. And his vocals are strong as well, like, good. And that's sometimes what you just should do, right? Um, instead of perhaps going for songs, if you don't really have that good of a selection, I don't know if this is a good selection or not. Just send a good vocalist, like that sometimes could be enough, often isn't. I don't know. At least you don't send a bad vocalist, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's a bit classically orchestrated, so um, perhaps not the, the, the most modern piece. I mean, obviously when it's classically orchestrated. Um, but I think that the touch of the electric guitar was nice and his vocals were really good in general. It was a bit tough to, to really focus on it because there was quite the echo in the, in the venue. Um, but I think we'll have that with every single song in this uh, selection, which is a bit unfortunate. But I mean, that just happens. I, I, I would assume there was no audience in the, um, in, in the venue. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is, really. I can't really do much about it. And um, they can't either. So, hey, that happens. Let's go to the next one. The next song on our list is the artist July Jones or Julie Jones, either of the two. And the song is called Girls Can Do Anything. Yes. So I'm curious to see what she can do, right? Um, on a stage. So without further ado, let's quickly play. Yeah, the echo continues. But this is a final couple I'll make of that, right? We've notified that now. Let's just kind of focus on the songs. I feel like there is some sort of filter on the microphone as well. I don't know. Oh. Huh. The beat is quite cool. I'm not yet fully sure on her vocals. I know, it feels a tad underwhelming, if that makes sense. Ah. She's definitely got the stage presence as well, so that's good. I do think that the lyrics are a tad bit repetitive. Um, like, she's literally just kind of repeating the same two, three lyrics um, again and again. I like how she's standing on, like, a drum. Set. Her breathing is a bit distracting too, I don't know. <laughs> Especially in that little piece when there's nothing else happening besides her uh, repeating the phrase and the breathe really becomes um, very upfront so you know it's it easier. Yeah, I totally get the why this went through as well. Um, it, it's just... Ooh. <laughs> My camera nearly fell. Okay. Back, yes. Um, I thought the performance in general was was just really good. And I think that is the biggest thing you can take away from this. She had a lot of stage charisma. And um, yeah, the song itself, I don't know. It was a tad too repetitive for my liking. Um, but the beat itself was quite cool. And yeah, especially like her performance of it was really charismatic and very much in your face look at me here i am this is my song you know and that's good that's really good um yeah like i said the lyric is a bit too repetitive for me like you i think you could have switched it up a little bit better um but overall yeah quite decent quite decent up next we have the artists i think because i saw two people standing there uh luma and the song is called all in let's go poker yes Something like that. Um, so yeah, curious to find out. Let's click play. Is this the end? Okay. You better hold on to me. Oh, I love how he does like the hand and then like, press down on the 
No keypad, guys. Why is it keyboard? It's a moving break. Hmm. It's very mysterious. In a way, it kind of reminds me a bit of Sebi, you know. Like a very kind of in their own little bubble uh, performance. Oh, I like that. They just like ripped it away and she was like, <gasps> that was cool. Oh, I love this performance. Yo, actually, this is dope. I am getting fully on board with this. This performance is amazing. Like there is some dynamic and they thought about little bits in between, especially with like a keyboard thing. Yo. I feel like this is what uh, they tried to do in Czechia with, um, oh, what was their duet called? Um, oh, I don't really remember what it was called. But, but they had like this duet as well, where they like, tried to perhaps go for a dynamic like this, but it didn't fully pay off in my opinion. I know a lot of people love that song as well. Um, this really, really worked well. They, they, they thought about how they wanted to present their song. They thought about how they wanted to implement the dynamic between the two. Um, you know, I, I, I got on board when um, the guy pulled away the keyboard and she was like, huh? and then it, it, it seemed like they wanted to tell the story of her then taking the control over him and the keyboard in the song. And I don't know, it was just a really cool performance that you can really just think about. Wow, that was really cool. I am not sure how it would do with your vision, not gonna lie. But this has potential. This has a lot of potential. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Good good job. Thank you very much, Luma. Uh, and that was all in. Yes. Let's go to the next song. The next song is by Manush. And the song is Si Sama. Hmm? 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 Let's click play. Oh! Oh, I am already here for this. It's like kind of jive music, I guess. Isn't that the dance you do to this? I feel like so. I'm not the biggest with uh, dance genres. Oh, this is cool. I think they're very well dressed as well. Like, it's very classical, it fits a song. Like a little beret, and then the one guy doesn't have a beret. The cool skirts kind of being the same, but also having different colors. Cool. And then the, the trumpets or the bugles or something. Cool. Yeah, I totally get why this went through as well. It's fun. I don't think this will win this election, but it's fun. And even if it were to win, it's something cool to present on the stage, right? To the entirety of Europe. It's very different. I'm not sure if it would be enough to do well, but it would definitely be unique. Oh, I like it. I've been thinking that perhaps in off-season I'm going to try to uh, start learning an instrument again. So, I don't know, I just, I just feel like that would be cool. And it would make me a bit more credible as well. I don't know. What do you think? What instrument should I play? Like, I'm I'm really debating guitar or drums, something like that. I could see myself as a drummer, guitar player. I'm really having fun with this. This is well executed. Yes! Cool. Ah, uh, yeah, that was really cool, actually. Um... I don't know, I, I, I wouldn't pick this as a winner, I would prefer the previous song, for example. Um, but I totally get that this went through to the final, and it just adds a bit of a variety, and just a bit of different genres to the mix, and that's that's wonderful. And if this were to win, I don't think you could be ashamed of it, because it'll definitely stand out for what it is, 100%. Um, cool, lovely. Let's go to the next one. The final song of the qualifiers uh, in Slovenia. 
of Semi One is Stella Sophia, and the song is Tu in Zdai. So let's find out what it is. Let's click play. For some reason, I expected English, but it was a Slovenian title, so I don't know why I expected that. But it caught me by surprise a bit, for no reason at all. She also has great vocals. Like, that's kind of the takeaway. All of the qualifiers have, like, great vocals. Maybe perhaps with the Julia Jones one, they weren't bad vocals at all. But maybe a bit more underwhelming compared to the rest. Oh. Nice. I'm going nicely on the backing beat. You could perhaps use a bit of a... I don't know, a bit more of a vocal there, or just something to nicely round off the chorus and then go back to the verse again. And right now I feel like I wasn't really a payoff at that moment, which is okay, but I would have perhaps liked that. She is very mesmerizing, like she's, she's definitely grabbing my attention. Nice! I think that perhaps the backing track is overshadowing her a tad too much. So perhaps for the grand final they can turn that down a bit better and that might help a bit because I think there's definitely some potential here. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. I quite enjoyed it actually. Cool. Um, yeah. Let's wrap it up. And there you have it. Yes, I have reacted to all of the six qualifiers in the Slovenian semi-final. And honestly, I've been quite impressed. Like, I think all of these six, great vocals, like I said. That is the foremost thing that springs to mind, really. And um, yeah, I think overall it was very decent and it's a good start for Slovenia. I definitely think that that duet has a lot of potential. Like, if I were to pick a winner from this semi, of course, Semi 2 is going to happen, and we know there's like some uh, big names in there, I think. I, I remember BQL being announced, which like was a fan favorite a while ago. Um, where can I find this? I don't know. Whatever. Um, I think they're in there as well, and like some maybe... I, I thought it was another big name as well participating, but I can't fully remember on top of my head. Um, but yeah, the other semi-final, uh, I'm very excited for it, because this is, this is some quality. Like, even the non-qualifiers weren't even bad <laughs> like genuinely i i thought the serpentine was quite a, a fun song but like seeing these six go through it perfectly makes sense like they were just a tad bit better um yeah it's it's just a good start thank you very much lavinia and and especially all in you can send it to eurovision straight away and have that dynamic but like on a bigger scale make it more intimate have a bit more professional sound a bit more professional um Camera work, perhaps. I don't know. There's some mad potential in that. So, yeah. That were my thoughts on these six songs. So, now it is your turn. Let me know in the comments what you think of these songs. Who was your favorite of these six? Do you think Slovenia has some gold already? Or are you still waiting for, like, semi-final two to find that golden gem that you're looking for? Um, let me know in the comments and explain why. Because I always love to see the whys. Like, sure, you have, like, uh song A as your favorite, but I don't know why, like why do you have it as your favorite? I don't know, I want to know. So make sure to subscribe to the channel as well, and don't forget to like the video, because then we can grow, and that's wonderful, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm going to wrap it up, I'm going to edit this video now, and hopefully I can get it out before dinner, I, <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, for me, today, goodbye.